13 year old is talking to you today uh, instead of maybe a 33 year old or something like that. So um, I do have a few credentials actually um, to the Beads Act. When I was seven, I published my first book, Flying Fingers, Master the Tools of Learning Through the Joy of Writing, which I'm now trying to extract with one hand. Flying Fingers, here it is. And it's a book of short stories. And the reason that I wanted to publish a book when I was seven was because when I started reading, I was, four, uh, I was actually three and a half years old. And then I started writing when I was four. And I would write stories like every day, I would just write pages and pages of them. And when I got a laptop, I'd type them all up. Sometimes I wouldn't want to go eat dinner because I would be so engrossed in whatever I was writing. And um, when I was around seven years old, and I had written over 300 short stories, and I thought, well, these stories are all just sitting on my computer. I want them to go somewhere. And so I decided to publish a book. Um, and from that, when I started speaking at schools to students very much like you in, in my own home state of Washington, as well as around the world. Now, you might be wondering um, why so many students would really want to hear from uh, someone like me to talk about being a writer. A lot of it was because I was someone their own age, as well as the fact that I would do collaborative writing exercises. But I want to hear from you on whether you like reading or writing. Raise your hand if you like to read or write. I'm seeing some raised hands. Some people are like not really sure if other people don't have answers. Okay, so I see some raised hands. Well, let's try to figure out exactly what uh, what we all love about it. Let's um, go to open up a Word document and we're going to write down our favorite things about reading and writing. Why do you like it so much? What does it look like? I don't want to change the font. Okay, so this is 
going to be one very, very creepy story. But let's keep it like not, not super like little nightmares for two weeks afterwards. But um, I, I'm leaning toward it should be pretty funny. Okay, and we'll let's have one person as a character, so not a zombie hero. One person. Exactly. So we need 
include our setting, our characters, and what else? In the green shirt? Yeah. A problem, a conflict? Yeah, exactly. Okay, so let's write that down.
practice makes perfect. And when you are writing your stories like this, you want to get as many words out per second or per minute as you can. So I think it's a lot of practice. But um, quickly, I just want to get one idea of what's something, what's one way that you can use writing in your life? Okay? One way that you can use writing, maybe today or tomorrow, to have fun or to come to this. Okay, you can write to me. So what, what do you think you could write about? What's an idea you have to write about? Bigfoot is tall and lean. Okay, this is not going to be good. 
Bigfoot is tall and lean, um, as long as he has a lot of students. Students from the community school that did not work. Before, um, I thought, I thought sign would do with, uh, do you know what you're skiing would do? Before eating, eating students at GW skiing, this is very violent. Oh, right. Okay, this is my very bad, this is not, please, please, this is not a reflection of my poetic ability. I'll just tell you. Most annoying cow who lazes in the sun, she torments every hen and sow and has a lot of fun. She gives no milk at all and moves away at night. Even when she's in her stall, she always picks a fight. Eventually, she ran away, freedom from great allure, away, away from her stall and hay. But she left a great deal of manure. So what we're going to do now, teachers, 